L A U R A T R I P L E T T. Can you please state and spell your name? Richard E. Hayes. R I C H A R D E. Period. A J Y E S. Today's date is August 14, 2009. And today I will be interviewing Richard Hayes on the topic of civil rights organizations in Sioux City, Iowa. Thank you for interviewing with us today. Thank you very much for having me. Could you tell us how long you've lived in Sioux City? Uh, I've been actually living in Sioux City for 60 years. I am uh, 69 years old. And uh, so once I, I was born August 7, 1940 here in Sioux City. Uh, went through school and then went into the military. Uh, stayed away from Sioux City for nine years. Came back in 1968 and I've been here ever since. What civil rights organizations were available to the African American community when you were a younger man? Well, there were uh, there were really two, as I remember, and that of course is the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, uh, better known to most folks as the NAACP, uh, and also uh, uh, the uh, Human Rights uh, Commission. At what age did you get involved? Well, I tell folks, uh, if you are born uh, in America or moved to America and you are uh, of a uh, uh, color darker than white, uh, you know, you got involved the minute you got here. Uh, because uh, whether or not we realize it, things, even though we were kids, things were affecting our lives uh, at that time. Uh, civil rights was affecting our, our lives. But actual, uh, when I got busy into it, was uh, uh, 1978, I believe. And the reason, reason for that, of course, I had uh, watched all of the civil rights movement uh, been in, uh, been in contact with folks who were involved in it uh, personally and all, but uh, when I moved back to Sioux City in 68, uh, my father began to let me know that I should be involved in uh, the civil rights movement. Uh, my father, Arthur R. Hayes, who's deceased now, uh, kept telling me that, you know, son, you, you ought to be involved in this and you ought to be trying to do some things that will uh, make things better for your kids when they come along as we tried to make for you. And so uh, I took that to heart and I said, well, I'll, I'll join the NAACP. And that's what I did. I joined and, uh, for the first few years, just kind of went to some meetings to get acquainted with what it was all about. And then finally uh, really got uh, involved, started going to state conference meetings, uh, regional conferences, and then the national uh, conferences. So I've, uh, so I've been involved uh, uh, really since, uh, or active I should say, uh, 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 since the uh, uh, very, very early uh, 80s. What role did you play within the organizations during that time? Well, I was uh, fortunate or, or unfortunate, enough, whichever way you want to look at it, but uh, uh, to come along at a time uh, when, there, uh, when there were those in the organization of the uh, uh, NAACP uh, were middle-aged to late-aged folks, and they were uh, looking for some youngsters to be involved who could pick up the, uh, the banner and, and move forward uh, with it. So I came along at a time when uh, people were was encouraging uh, were encouraging uh, uh, us to get involved and to and to take some leadership roles uh, in the uh, NAACP. Uh, I came in with a good friend of mine, Gerald Fields, uh, and uh, uh, the local branch of the NAACP uh, saw fit to send us to uh, everything that was going on so that we could meet the people in other areas and find out what was happening in their areas and find out what the NAACP uh, was all about. And then, of course, uh, it wasn't uh, too terribly long. Uh, uh, I did uh, serve as the president of the uh, Sioux City branch for, uh, for a short period of time. 
did you feel that these organizations have had an impact in the community? Uh, yes, there's no really no question about that. Uh, when I, you know, when I look back and think of what was happening uh, when I was a, when I was a kid, and, and what's going on uh, uh, today, the freedoms and, and, and that we that we have today. I didn't talk uh, didn't talk uh, any here about uh, the Human Rights Commission, but I need to back up because uh, uh, that was one of the, one of the organizations that played a key part in uh, making. Uh, Sioux City, the, the way it is uh, uh, today. Uh, but in 19, I think it was 1951, before uh, before any laws were put on the books or whatever, uh, Sioux City had uh, uh, come up with an ordinance, and I believe it was at the urging of the NAACP, folks who, uh, who were in the NAACP and also worked for the city of Sioux City. Uh, they were encouraging uh, the city that uh, we need to uh, stop discrimination and, uh, and uh, hire people uh, of color. And uh, so that's how uh, the city began to advance, it really in 1951. Uh, but then we move, uh, we move forward, and uh, in 1958, uh, 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 the uh, city of Sioux City then uh, uh, amended their ordinance so that it would, uh, would would take care of folks not only uh, who work for the city, uh, uh, knock out discrimination for uh, employees not only in the city but also uh, in all employment in uh, in the Sioux City area. So Human Rights Commission, uh, uh, that was 1958, and then 1964 they actually established uh, uh, the commission and gave them staff and uh, they were able to do uh, considerably more, working in conjunction, I might add, uh, with the NAACP. What civil rights organizations are available now in Sioux City? Well, actually, uh, uh, the same, the same two uh, that was here back in those days is still flourishing. Uh, it, uh, uh, I need to say that the, uh, uh, the NAACP uh, is an organization that began back in uh, two uh, 1909. Excuse me, 1909, and so uh, our organization is now uh, uh, 100 years old this year, and so uh, we've been uh, we've been pushing on uh, ever since then. But uh, it actually, uh, actually, uh, Sioux City actually got a branch uh, up and running for good uh, in 1947. So we have had a uh, uh, we've had an active an active NAACP branch here in Sioux City since 19. 47 and uh, is uh, viable uh, today and of course the Human Rights Commission is still uh, part of the, uh, of the city structure.